I mean, I am gonna be honest here with you guys. How many of you honestly expected this to end any differently? Now, we just got back home after celebrating Mrs. Six's birthday for the last four days in Virginia, and I was anticipating being able to play Ion Classic over the course of the weekend, but I have arrived home with a mass quantity of DMs both on Twitter and on Discord, and I had to go ahead here, I had to boot up my computer and go on to not only Reddit, but also the official Ion forums to kind of take a look at what all of this mass drama and hysteria is caused from. Like, I, 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 was, I was not expecting this. I was expecting something to go wrong. <laughs> Oh boy. Before we go any further though, if you want to stay up to date with everything concerning Ion or Ion Classic or just MMOs in general, scroll down and click that subscribe button and become part of our community. An absurd amount of threads made on Reddit, on the official Ion forums. I mean, even massively OP has acknowledged this and I mean, I'm gonna go ahead here and just quickly read the massively OP article first. Ion's forums are absolutely raging about the Deva Pass and its candy problem afflicting Ion Classic as we noted yesterday. NCSoft does not directly address the outcry, but at least one member of the community team has been engaging with players and bringing feedback back to the development team, which seemingly hasn't made a decision about the situation. Now, before we go any further, what the issue is, is that there is an item in game, or there is specifically candy in game. This candy allows you to, in essence, accumulate a mass amount of Kina. Kina being the in-game currency. Now, these candies are purchased with real money, which in essence allows for you to buy in-game money with real money legally, obtaining a mass advantage over every other player playing that cannot invest the same amount of money into the game. Now, let's continue reading a little bit here. So first off, it seems that there are a lot of rumors in this area circling around. What I've been able to verify is that last December, an exploit using tough pink tiger candy was discovered in Korea's classic. The exploit was so egregious that players who leveraged that exploit had their accounts permanently banned. However, that really doesn't seem related to what's going on in the West. This is not any kind of manipulative exploit, which means that theoretically, this isn't an issue and they don't plan on rolling back the servers or really doing anything about it. Nevertheless, I am... <coughs> Nevertheless, I'm making sure that feedback is passed out to the relevant teams. I did a lengthy write-up on this this morning that included screenshots from the community Reddit poll and more. In the end, the team will need to weigh what's best for the game. I really appreciate all the threads which have been calling for a measured response because, I'll be honest, the extremely vitriolic reactions even impact our emotional perspective internally. I can only imagine how it impacts more casual players. So, thank you for having reasoned discussions on this. I'll keep sharing everything I can collect. And then you go on over to the forums and there is just, there is just so, so much drama, so much hate. This has had such a negative reception everywhere online. There was a thread made on the MMORPG subreddit stating players are mass quitting Ion Classic not even a week after launch thanks to exploits that allow whales to stack up hundreds of millions of Kina, which is the in-game currency. Here's how it works. Whales are buying an item called candy in masses for real money. This candy can be sold for 100,000 Kina. Technically, you can only earn 1 million Kina per day in Classic, but whales have found an easy workaround. By setting up player shops, they can sell the candies to other players and bypass this limit. They basically sell hundreds of them for like 80 thousand kina each which everyone of course instantly buys because it can be resold for a hundred thousand kina the economy of classic is already beyond repair and after just three days you can already see that players are mass leaving the game kina is required to upgrade your gear to plus 15 to socket the best mana stones to get the best gold stones and later craft the best gear in the whole game which is all very rng heavy all that on top of the 15 dollars subscription fee and 30 dollar monthly battle pass by the way damn that was one of the fastest mmo deaths I have ever witnessed. You can check the stats on myion.eu. On day one, Classic had full servers with 30,000 players queue. On day two, there were like 6,000 players playing during prime time. Now it's 3,000. And if we navigate on over there now, 
it looks as though there are 14% of the maximum population playing per server, roughly about 15 to 20% per server. Now, again, this has been confirmed on Reddit. This has been confirmed on the forums as well, but to actually be highly competitive in this game. And first and foremost, Ion is a very PVP heavy MMO. So if you're not planning on being competitive, then why are you bothering to play the game? So with that in mind, this game is a very PVP heavy game. Now, there are players that are building up millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of Kina, and they are going to have no issue upgrading all of their gear to plus 15, socketing the gear with the best mana stones you can obtain, and crafting the best gear in the game because they will have infinite funds. This means that people who cannot afford any of this are going to be farmed almost to the point where they just give up and quit because there really isn't any purpose at that point. And the official response from NCSoft is that it is not any kind of manipulative exploit. They are unsure right now whether they want to go ahead here and make any changes to it whatsoever, especially given that so many people are spending the amount of money they were spending on this. Now, I don't know what they're really thinking, what their plan is ultimately, but I do know that them not taking action here is hurting the game in the long term. Yeah, they might be seeing a very, very large return on investment in the short term, but by providing a game that players actually want to spend money in long term, they are going to have long term returns on investment, which means a successful long term recurring amount of money, as opposed to this mass dump of money and then everyone quitting and the game being a mass failure come a month or two from now. And that is evident by the fact that a large percentage of the player base has already quit. This right here is one of the most obvious, blatant forms of pay to win that I have probably encountered in an MMO. And I am just, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. Like I'm not shocked that something went wrong. I knew something was going to go wrong. I was hoping, I was truly, truly hoping that Ion Classic would be good. This was popular in Korea, but at the end of the day, it turns out NCSoft is just being NCSoft and Ion Classic is just another one of their many, many failures. Seriously, NCSoft, please. Do better. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, our hard work's gonna be worth it.